Hey guys, just want to come in here before the video and I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the ATC video, my Tower 3 simulator video. I don't know why, but that video just took off like a missile. I cannot believe it. Just the amount of support I got on it was just unbelievable. So I thank you so much for that. I also want to give a thank you to Jack. He suggested that I should fly in Europe and he's kind of the reason that I made this video. So thank you very much for that suggestion, Jack. Um, I, it was a great time, as you're going to see. A little different, as you're also going to see, especially with my clearance. But other than that, thank you so much and enjoy the video. Welcome back. We are in the Fly-By-Wire A320neo, but this time we are in Europe. We're flying from Schiphol to Fiumicino. That's about a two-hour flight time, so we're not going to have much cruising there. We're climbing up to 39,000 feet. And we need to be out of here in about 40 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We are flying with EasyJet today. The wind speed here is unbelievable right now, so that's going to be fun to deal with. We're going to call the fuel truck and get fueled up. All right, we also just called for the GPU. Once the GPU is connected, we are going to go ahead and do our startup process. There you go. They just connected. All right. We are going to go ahead and turn batteries one and two on. We're going to go over to our cruise supply, turn cruise supply on. We are going to align our Adris. Strobes are going to go on auto. Nav and logos are going to go on. We're going to turn no smoke into auto. We're going to arm our emergency lights and we'll go ahead and turn on fuel pumps. We got to switch this over to that. And the HPA here is 1010, so we'll put that real quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our MCDU set up real quick. AOC menu, initialization, data request. Request those numbers as well. There we go. Flight plan, EHAM, departure, 24. REN to Sierra departure, a dupo transition, insert. Arrival, ILS 16 left whiskey, right three alpha arrival, via exama, and insert. Got a pretty wonky arrival route. Look at this chart. That looks like fun. We have a wind component of plus 17, so we will input that right now. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and request our clearance here. Chipple ground, good day. Easy 8147 with information Delta. Request an IFR clearance to Fumicino. Uh, easy 8147, Chipple ground. Uh, Delta correct, cleared to Rome, Fumicino. Randy to share departure, runway 24. Initial climb flight level 60, squawk 1000. Uh, yeah, I butchered my readback like three times to him because I kept on saying 6000 instead of flight level 60. So we're going to skip past that and save you guys some time. Easy 8147, read back correct, report for you ready. Sounds good, thank you very much. All right, we just butchered our clearance really bad in Europe. Flight level 60, I've never heard it said like. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get the jetway and everything connected and we will start boarding. Yeah, you know, butchering my clearance that bad is just so embarrassing. All right, our block fuel weight is 14.9, so we'll go ahead and put that in now. We're going to go ahead and put the APU master switch on. Wait That's three five, seconds. Easy, easy five feet, Charlie White. And start it up. We'll go into our seatbelts on. All right, APU is available. Put the APU bleed on. We'll turn external power off. And we'll go ahead and tell the GPU that they are good to take it away. The glass jetway is sick. I already punched in some numbers, so we'll go ahead and input those now. All right, cabin board is done. We are still waiting on the baggage and the catering to complete. So as for now, we'll go ahead and disconnect the jetway. All right, so the max altitude we're cleared for is 6,000, and the max speeds we can have is 220, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. All right, while we're waiting, we can head to initialization and fuel protection. We'll get our numbers right here. 32.5 on the zero fuel weight CG, which should put us just a little bit below uh, one down. So right around uh, there. All right, sounds like catering just finished up. We're gonna let them get out of here, and then we'll get ready for pushback. We'll do our before start checklist. Parking brake is as required. Takeoff speeds have been set. Windows are closed, and beacons we will turn on right now. We'll go ahead and request our push and start here. Triple ground, easy eight one forty seven. Request and push and start. Easy eight one four seven. Information echo. QNH one zero one zero. Push and start. Information echo, push and start approved, 8147. Push start is approved, so we're going to be facing southbound, and then runway 24 is basically just within walking distance. So we'll get this going. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Locking gear. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna do some checks. We'll start off with a flight control check. Ailerons left, ailerons right. 
elevator up, elevator down, and rider left, rider right. Get him, uh, two, two, all five. Perfect. Flight controls are good. Bus have been checked. Radar and everything is on. Engine mode selection is required. And we will turn on our runway turnoff and our nose light to taxi. APU master is coming off and APU bleed is coming off. Auto brakes are going to max. We'll check the cabin. And we'll do a takeoff config test. And everything's good. Triple ground, easy 8147, ready for taxi. Easy 8147, taxi runway 24, holding point to Sierra 7 via Alpha 4. 24 holding point Sierra 7 via Alpha 4, 8147. Easy 8147, ready to go. Yes, sir. We just got with you. We are ready to go for 2-4. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Runway 2-4. Clear to take off 2-4-0 at 1-7. Clear to take off on 2-4. Easy, 8147. And that's Corendel 9 3 All right. Zero. The clearance to Alho Saima. We'll get out of here. To Bravo departure, runway 2-4. Initial climb 3,000 feet. Spoke 2 one 4 4 We'll just do a rolling takeoff for convenience. Everything is good. Here we go. Whoa. All right. We're good. Advance 75 is get tell hello behind departing EasyJet line up There we are. Behind. Looking for 50%, consistent, perfect, Toga. Amsterdam Alpine, three. My auto throttle's on. Good avond Alpine 3 for uniform Fox Dot, also with you. Clear north to Alpha Rai, runway 27, descent of flight level 260. V1, and rotate. Alpha Rai, runway 27, descent of flight level 260. Just to be sure, flight level 260. 260, sorry, 3. Positive rate, gears coming up. Clear to Yankee Fox Dot, direct to show that. Direct connect, Turkish, two young There we go. Get him for two whiskey after our tip, direct it so. After our tip, direct it so for KLM Sport Whiskey. Looking good, we'll put the lever into climb. Air France 75 Whiskey Hotel, we made two four, clear for takeoff to win two four zero degrees, one seven knots. Some pretty strong wind we were facing, that's why we couldn't get up too well. That headwind was really difficult. Is he 8147? Report your passing altitude. Passing altitude 20 or 27,000. Sorry, 2,800. Is he 8147? Thank you. Identified climb flight level 250. Flight level 250, 8147. Okay, that's it. 250. Looking good. And we will pull standard. Perfect. Welcome to Europe, everyone. All right, we have now reached our cruising altitude, so seatbelts are going to come off. We have about a cruise time of that on one hour. So we're gonna sit back. I'm gonna go see what type of snacks that EasyJet has. This is my first time flying EasyJet. I'm not bringing Delta into Europe. The idea is if I'm gonna fly in Europe, I'm gonna stay with EasyJet, and if I'm gonna fly in the United States or surrounding areas, I'm gonna fly Delta. But as for now, we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy our flight.
All right, roughly an hour later, we are about to hit our top of descent. So for now, we're going to go up here. Actually, I want to turn these lights up a little bit. Go up here and we're going to turn the seatbelt signs on. We are going to start our initial descent to flight level 150. So we'll do that. Oh, we need to enter destination data. We're going to put 29.77, 28 Celsius. The wind right now, 140 at 4 knots. I'm going to increase our speed to about 280. Here's our arrival. We're going to come in through here. And then we take this little loop all the way through there. And then there's a slight right turn. And that'll get us on final for our runway, which will be 16 left. All right, so by here, we need to be at 250 knots. So once we get in those parameters for the altitude, we'll go ahead and uh, slowly pull back throttle. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, start pulling back that throttle to 250. And then once we hit 250, it'll get us back on a steeper descent. But we'll hit flight level 150 in no time. All right, we are past that first waypoint. We are going to now go down to 6,000. But we also are going to have to reduce speeds to 230 eventually. Actually, we'll probably just have to go down to 220. We are now going to desell down to 220. I know the max for this one upcoming here is 230, but it immediately goes down to 220. So, might as well go down to 220. We can also now start our descent to 6,000. All right, well, we hit 220 knots, so we're going to continue our descent down at this speed. We're going to be starting our next turn here shortly. All right, we're below past 10,000, so I should have put these on earlier, but landing lights are going to come on. And we'll now start our turn right. Since we're here, we can go through our approach checklist. Barometer has been set. Seatbelts are on. Minimums have been checked at 400 feet. Auto brakes are as required. Entrance selection as required. We are good. We are now going to desell down to 210 knots. We'll go ahead and go flaps one for now. All right, while we're here, we're just gonna go ahead and desell down to um, 200 knots. We'll do that All right there. Now that we're here, runway turnoff lights going on, the nose lights going into takeoff. All right, we're gonna go down to 4,000 now. We'll go ahead and throw landing systems on. And we'll now just go ahead and head down to 2,500. 2,500. That's good. 2,500. Yep. So it looks like the wind is going to be variable at four knots. 2,500. I heard you the first time. I'm going to desell to 180 real quick. We're going to go flaps two. And uh, it looks like we're going to hit everything in time. So for now, we are going to desell to about 150. We're going to go flaps three. Ooh, we can hear him roaring and we're gonna go full flaps landing gear is going to come down as soon as we straighten out here landing gear coming down we are going to check the cabin everything looks good head to our checklist real quick you can memo show no blue cabin is ready we'll desal to 140 all right here we go Ooh, i definitely have this on precision mode so It'll make it a lot more fun. Yeah, I have this on precision mode. Oh, no, I have this on precision mode. There we go. Now it's going to be a lot more responsive to us. Looking good. Little left, also a little bit down. Little more left for me. Looking good. Get a little more down. All right, we really gotta get left. And more down. Desell to our VAP of 131. Straighten this out. 2000. 2000 called out. I do need to get more left. Yeah, we're really just gonna bank this left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa, didn't say up, but okay. Oh, no, not there either. <laughs> All right, so we're facing mostly headwind right now at five knots. 
But I think this will line up in time. Check an airport stuff on my side view as well. We're going to be exiting right. Looking good. A little more left. There we go. Four knots of wind now. I keep on baking this a little too far right for my liking. Good. I'm getting flashing warnings. OM. I don't know what that means, unfortunately. That'll be something to check out. A little more left. 1,000. 1,000 feet's called out. 1,000. Uh, it's calling out again in case we didn't hear it the first time. 1,000. All right. Third time's the charm. Fourth. Why not? This thing just really wants me to know. All right, I keep on getting pushed right a little more than I want, so. Yeah, it's just ever so slightly taking me back to my right. Whoa, hit a spike there. Now we're lined up. Looking good. There's a road below us. A little too far 500. left. 500. We got this. Doing good. 400. 400. A little more right. Straighten that out. Looking good. 300. 300. Go a little more left. 200. 200. Looking good. 100. 100. Way past our touchdown zone. 40, 30. 20. Retard. 10. 5. Ooh, there we go. Good. Reversers. Looks like everything went. Good, 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 good. Auto brakes are going to come off. And we're going to take this high speed exit up here. All right, reverses off in neutral. And we will vacate. Off here to our right. On to Delta Golf. Pretty good landing from what I felt. I'll take it. I don't know what reputation EasyJet has. I know what reputation um, Ryanair has. All right, and we are going to hold short right here. Whoa, -ho -ho, slow it on down, Jimbo. There we go. Well, oh, it gave me a good rating, so I'll take it. All right, we're gonna set parking brake. While we're here, gonna put those spoilers back. We are going to uh, put our... F I, I need a dome light in here to even see. Sorry. There we go. Uh, we'll go flaps to one. Uh, we'll reset that rudder trim. Uh, what else? Uh, we will start up our APU. Um... Landing lights can come off. Nose light's going to go to taxi. And now we will actually start the APU. Other than that, um, PWS can come off. And we will now start our uh, taxi to our gate, which I do need to find. I didn't look at um, what we're what our gate is supposed to be. So let me look real quick. Everything is good. We will begin our taxi now to gate 613.
I just don't see an air marshaler. Oh, there he is. All right, taxi light will come off. Huh, what? This is so sick. Oh, left. Slow down. <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to get me to do. I can't see anything, so kind of working blind right now. We'll set parking brake. I'm assuming that means cut off engines. So we'll go make sure everything's good. Flaps, you're good. Engines one and two are going to come off and the APU bleed is coming on. That is something, that's really cool. Oh, tch. and they're gone. Don't trip over it or go through it. Beacons will come off. All right, looks good. And we will start uh, Joey connection and we will start deboarding. All right, and they're gonna start deboarding and I will begin the shutdown process but that is going to do it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the idea to fly in Europe. Um, it was honestly a really cool thing. And I'm looking forward to it more, especially during when it's more daytime. But man, they have centers everywhere. Almost every airport has tower or ground. It is a really cool experience. So it's definitely one I'll come back to. Got any feedback? Got any questions? Got any suggestions? Let me know. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.